First, I cut out the hollow acetate and I'll link the dye. I took a needle, stuck it through the middle, tucked each edge over the needle to form the bow shape, wrap the thread around, and I am going to turn this into a paper clip. As you can see, I knotted it in the back. Not very nice and neat. So here is it attached to the paper clip just with another loop of thread. I have a little strip of hollow faux leather that I am wrapping around the center and I will just glue it down and trim the ends. All right. So I've added a little bit of glue on one side and this bottom strip, I'll go ahead and add some glue right down here and then just wrap it around the paper clip. And so for this first piece of acetate, I am creating a planner clip bow. It's a little tricky to stitch through, but if you're delicate, it'll be fine. So here you have it. Perfect. And this is my planer clip. Nice and cute. All right, and next we'll be making an insert for this journal. This is the journal, the self care journal that we got in one of the subscriptions. I am going to use the sprinkle acetate next. And it'll be a dashboard. So I have a sheet that was already torn out of the planner from the very back. And I'm just gonna line up the acetate with the sheet and use just a basic marker to mark off each hole. Just want to get aligned. And this is a washable marker, so you can use a baby wipe if you get a little messy and just wipe it off. Any leftover markings. All right, I have finished this portion. Now I am going to use the We Are Memories Keeper Cropodile, and it has two different measurements of holes that you can use. And I'm gonna use the side that has one eighth. If you have a one eighth hole punch, that will work great for this journal. I'm trying to get it so you can see the measurements, but I don't think it's going to get in focus. And I've had this tool for many years. Um, I used to do some scrapbooking and use eyelets. And so it has um, the main portion of it is an eyelet setter. So I'm just getting it aligned over the marks and I am punching the holes.
okay and you can see here a little bit that my holes are done and they're not totally straight I'm taking a pair of scissors and cutting a slit and this allows this piece of acetate to pop into your journal. So cut a slit into each of those holes. All right, now I have cut slits into each of those holes from one edge to the very end. And now for the fun part, this will be placing it inside your journal. Just line up the edge and go ahead and press each of those slits in between the spirals. This acetate is the perfect size for all of the notebooks that can be found on her website or if you have subscribed for a while, um, we receive a goals journal. I'm going to use the edge of these scissors to place this in a little easier because those spirals are a little closer together. All right, and now you have the perfect little dashboard. Super cute. The sprinkles add a great touch to this layout. I love it. Yay, now we have two wonderful ideas utilizing the acetate that came in the subscription for this month, a planner clip and a dashboard. We have one more piece of acetate. This is my classic size happy planner and I'll show you that there is a size difference between it and the journal. So the acetate will look quite small inside this planner to be used as a dashboard. It could be used as a smaller dashboard, but I'm gonna turn it into a pocket. I love, love, love this design. I really wanted to save it. So, I'm getting my punch, and I'll show you with this scrap piece of paper. I won't have to do all the individual hole punching. I just insert the paper press down and it punches completely through the paper with these rings you do the same thing as we did with the spiral you just press them in and I love disc ring planners because you can just remove pages add pages refill pages all right so I have a piece of cardstock here and I'm going to line up the acetate. I want to use as many of the images as possible and still keep the pocket functional. So I'm gonna cut it at an angle and I'll be able to save those girls up top. And you could always use a ruler if you choose, but I'm just eyeballing. And I'm just gonna trim it at a diagonal.
keeping these girls. Perfect. Now I will line it up with the paper. And if you'd like to make this part perfect, it would be great to get out your paper trimmer. But once again, I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to use the edge of the acetate and begin to cut upward. Okay, and as I get closer to the top, I'm going to turn the cardstock and cut straight across. And once again, using a paper trimmer would make this more precise. And this piece of cardstock, it's recollection, so it is from Michaels. and I've had it for a while as well. So I'm gonna line these up and I'm gonna place them in the punch. I'm deciding if I want the pocket to sit more towards the bottom of the planner. If so, you would line it up with a line at the very bottom. Or if I want it to sit at the top of the planner, there is a white line at the top of the punch but I really think I want it to sit a little bit more in the middle, not so much at the bottom, not so much at the top. So I'm just gonna place it in the middle of the punch. And because the acetate is a little thicker than cardstock, I'm gonna need a little bit more pressure in order to punch this completely. Perfect. And so if you wanted to, you could use double sided tape along the bottom edge and the side edge to keep everything in alignment, but I'm just going to use some washi. I don't know which one. I'll go with this pink one here. if I can find the edge. All right, here we go. I guess I haven't used this one before. All right. So I'm just going to make it long enough to cover the bottom edge. And I want to keep this in alignment. It's sliding around a little bit. It would be better if you did use a little bit of double sided tape because you're going to, you can cover it with the washi, but just to keep it lined up. This would go a little bit quicker if this was all paper. I'll go with the shorter edge first. All right, so you just want it along the edge and then fold it over on itself. And then I'm just gonna trim off the extra. Sorry, I am struggling just a little bit trying to hold one side and lay the washi down. All right. And once again, the acetate is a little slick, so I want to keep making sure that it 
the sides that I punched are still lined up. All right. And now to conquer the bottom edge. This time I'm gonna just try to lay it down so I can have two hands to try to line up the washi. working a little bit kind of missed the bottom edge just a little perfect all right and you'll do the same thing you'll fold it over on itself so there's a little bit covering the bottom edge and then folding it behind itself And it doesn't look extremely even, but with the glitter and all of the prettiness, it all works out. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but it will be functional. All right, and let's pop it inside of the planner. Sorry, I noticed the very bottom corner, the washi um, needs to be trimmed out. So I'm just cutting that little notch out of the bottom. As I went to place it in the planner, I saw that it was uneven. So you can see here, I had to cut, cut that out. If you do the washi before and then do the punch, it will work out a little bit better. All right, just gonna pop this pocket in. And let's get something to put inside. Just so you can see, it'll be clear on the top. Yay, another great idea. So we have three different ways to use the acetate. So we've created a folder, we have a standard dashboard, and a planner clip. I want to save that the little girls that I had at the top, so I am actually gonna try to make a shaker planner clip out of that. So I'm gonna cut out those little girls and I stitch with the sewing machine very slowly around the edge of course it's not perfect but once you add the sequence it won't be too noticeable it'd be really good if I had one of those fuse tools that sears the edges together and you wouldn't see all that thread this is some sequence that I've had since Christmas time that I did not use so I'm gonna go with the smaller section and just pour some inside once I pour it inside, I will stitch the bottom close. Sorry, this was an unexpected idea that I decided to do. So I just took the leftover dolls or image from that last piece of acetate and cut around them and then backed it with a clear piece of acetate and then stitched around the sides. I think that's a little too full. Not a lot of shaking going on. So I'm just gonna take some out. 
And once again, if I planned on this idea, I would have been a little less messy. And I probably would have used a little piece of paper as a funnel to get the sequence inside. So now I'm going to stitch along the bottom and I'll do that off camera. Okay, and this is the completed clip stitched out at the bottom and just attach the paper clip. I think it turned out nice as a impromptu idea. If I would have used pink thread, I think it would have been a little nicer. But once again, if you own one of the fuse tools, you can just trace around the outer edge and it will seal it using heat and you won't have to look at the stitching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any other ideas that you would like for me to share. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.